Bob, not bad at all out there. All right, it's great outside now, but the stormy start to the day brought some Memorial Day celebrations to a, a soggy halt. And Middletown was forced to cancel its parade, but Patriots didn't let that stop them from paying tribute to those who served and died for our freedoms. News 8's Jamie Muro explains. They didn't get a parade when they came home in the late 60s and early 70s, but here in Middletown, they're getting one now. Is there a statute of limitations on offering a praise of thanks? Perhaps this would be your answer. It was tough. It's tough. It's tough. But things are getting better. It's taken a long time for Vietnam veteran Larry Riley to utter those words and believe them. Decades ago, when he and his fellow veterans came home, there were more jeers than cheers. It's about time that you know the country started coming around and be more supportive of those who serve. This parade was to honor all veterans, but with an added emphasis of gratitude towards the Vietnam War generation, a resilient bunch who just did what they were told. Time has not erased their tenacity. This parade was officially canceled due to weather. I said to the fireman, I said, St. Patrick's Day, they go down the street and rain and sleet and snow, and for the vets, they cancel the parade. So we stuck it out and we waited. Unofficially, well, the show went on as planned. They found out the parade was canceled and they said, no, this is not right. We can, if we can do all we did in Vietnam and put up with that weather and the monsoons there, we can march down Main Street. You don't need a parade to thank a Vietnam veteran, but Larry, like so many others, won't shy away from finally getting a chance to glow in the spotlight. I'll almost be in tears. Like I've, like I've been for every parade I've walked through, I've been almost in tears to hear somebody say thank you for what you've done. You know, gosh, finally. On the scene in Middletown, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.